The rugged badlands, lush woodland settings and water-fed natural features of North Dakota provide seemingly endless landscapes to explore. As well as stunning scenery, the state presents a fascinating glimpse into the history and culture of the region through its museums and historic sites. Visitors to North Dakota often spend time outdoors at places like Theodore Roosevelt National Park or Lake Sakakawea. Indoor tourist attractions include the North Dakota Heritage Center in Bismarck or the Plains Art Museum in Fargo. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the top 10 rated tourist attractions in North Dakota. Before we begin, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more awesome travel guides and make sure you hit the notification bell so that you know when we publish a new video. Let's cut to the chase. At 10, Mardar Hay Trail. The Mardar Hay Trail attracts hikers, bikers and horseback riders and is known as North Dakota's best kept secret. Not surprised with that name. This multi-use, non-motorized trail covers more than 140 miles of iconic North Dakota landscapes. Scenic spots on the route include Badlands, the Little Missouri River Valley and portions of the Theodore Roosevelt National Park. The Mardar Hay Trail Association is the best resource for planning overnight and day trips on the trail. Ambitious trail travelers can navigate the entire route over an average of 10 days and there are 10 campgrounds along the route. Numerous trailheads along the route allow for scenic day trips. The city of Medora is often a base camp for day trips on the Mardar Hay Trail. The trail portion crossing through Theodore Roosevelt National Park is also a common stretch to explore. Next up at 9, Dakota Zoo, Bismarck. Dakota Zoo is a popular family attraction in Bismarck near the shore of the Missouri River. The zoo is home to over 500 animals representing several species from across the world. Among their collection are threatened and endangered animals including Bengal tigers, tamarins and snow leopards. The zoo is open seven days a week throughout the summer, late April through September. It's easy to spend the day wandering the 90-acre facility and observing all the animals. Other areas of the zoo like a rose garden and shaded play areas are also worth visiting. Dakota Zoo is home to several special events throughout the year. Some of the most popular include breakfast at the zoo, annual Easter egg hunts and Wednesday night activities occurring weekly. At 8, Lake Sakakawea. Lake Sakakawea is North Dakota's largest reservoir located in the west central part of the state and with more than 1,500 miles of shoreline, it's a popular place to enjoy the water. Two state parks are close to the shore of Lake Sakakawea, Fort Stevenson and Lake Sakakawea State Park on the eastern banks. Both offer overnight options with modern campgrounds. They each also have easy access to the water with public access docks and boat rentals. Sailing, kayaking and motorboating are popular activities associated with Lake Sakakawea and the lake offers year-round fishing opportunities. Lake Sakakawea State Park has a marina with boat slips available. The park also operates two boat ramps, including a multi-lane access point on the west side of the park. Hiking is also sought after at Lake Sakakawea. The park is the western terminus for the North Country National Scenic Trail, which, when completed, will span 4,600 miles from Lake Sakakawea to upstate New York. Not in all one day, though, surely. At 7, Fort Abraham Lincoln State Park. Fort Abraham Lincoln State Park is a great place to engage with history, hike some trails and spend the night next to the water. The state park reflects both its military history and Native American roots with replica villages and still standing military buildings. On site, visitors find reconstructed buildings like the Custer House and the reassembled Onaslant Mandan Indian Village. The Onaslant Indian Village features six recreated earth lodges and the Custer House is accompanied by several other restored barracks, granaries and a commissionery store. These reconstructed pieces of history offer an opportunity to learn about the legacy of the landscape. For recreation, the nearly 20 miles of trails attract hikers, bikers and horseback riders. These non-motorized routes span several directions throughout the park, navigating shrublands and woodlands. The newest trail in the park, the 2.2-mile Keller Loop Trail, connects to the longer Scouts Trail for those interested in a longer hike. To extend your stay at Fort Abraham Lincoln, the state park also offers a modern campground near the shores of the Missouri River, complete with showers and flushing toilets. Nearly 100 sites are available, with over 80 sites, including electricity and water hookups. 
all sites have an affordable overnight rate. At 6, Scandinavian Heritage Park. The Scandinavian Heritage Park in Minnow offers a unique look at Scandinavian culture in Sweden, Norway, Denmark, Finland and Iceland. This outdoor museum includes numerous replica buildings, statues and cultural points of interest to explore. Visitor favourites include the replica Golstave Church, an 18th century home transported from Sigdal and a 25-foot tall Swedish Dala horse on display. The replicas of a Finnish sauna and a Danish windmill are also on the grounds and are popular spots for visitors and photographers. Attractions are not heated at Scandinavian Heritage Park and the summer is the best time to visit. The park offers tours of the various on-site buildings between approximately mid-May and late September. The end of the season at Heritage coincides with the annual Norsk Hostfest, which takes place at the fairgrounds every year. At 5. Plains Art Museum the Plains Art Museum is home to an impressive collection of works by regional and national artists in the historic town district of Fargo. Contemporary art as well as traditional American Indian art and traditional folk art feature prominently in the permanent collection. The museum presents changing exhibitions throughout the year within its 56,000 square feet of space. The Plains Art Museum also presents various public art and gardens throughout the city that enhance any visit to Fargo, including the homage to history sodbuster sculpture located downtown. Youth and family programs are available at the Plains Art Museum as well as adult workshops. The event calendar also has something going on nearly every night of the week, including family movie nights, book clubs and low sensory Mondays. The museum is open seven days a week. Admission is free for all ages. At 4, North Dakota Heritage Center. In Bismarck, the North Dakota Heritage Center offers an overview of North Dakota history from prehistoric to modern times. Visitors to the Heritage Center have four museum galleries to peruse, including adaption, innovation and inspiration galleries, as well as a rotating governor's gallery with temporary exhibits from around the world. The museum contains thousands of different artifacts and displays, ranging from a Tyrannosaurus rex skeleton cast to a scale model of the Hubble Space Telescope. The Northern Lights Atrium is another popular point of interest. This steel and glass piece of architecture welcomes guests to the museum and provides an eye-catching spectacle at night. The immersive landscapes of the Capitol Arboretum Trail at the Heritage Center also draw some interest. For warmer months, refreshments are available on the on-site James River Cafe. The Heritage Centre is open every day of the year, except major holidays. Admission is always free. And next up, at 3, Knife River Indian Villages National Historic Site. The Knife River Indian Villages National Historic Site is an old camping ground of the Mandan and Hidatsa Indians near Stanton. Several villages have been rebuilt here to preserve the culture. Today, this historic site introduces camps, field trips and individuals to the native environment. Checking out the museum on the grounds is a popular thing to do at the Knife River Indian Village's historic site. This educational facility features artifacts and relics from the village, as well as significant cultural emblems of the people native to the area. Patrons also enjoy walking the village trail, checking out the reconstructed earth lodge and hiking the various trails that wind throughout the scenic landscape. Different activities and events take place at Knife River Indian Villages throughout the year, including games, craft shows and ceremonies, all of which really bring the historic site to life. At 2, National Buffalo Museum. Approximately halfway between Bismarck and Fargo on Interstate 94, drivers can see the world's largest, albeit concrete, bison from afar outside the National Buffalo Museum. Its living counterparts graze at its feet, among them are rare albino bison. Visitors learn everything about the great beasts that once roamed the American West within the National Buffalo Museum. The 6,000 square foot facility has several exhibits regarding the near extinction of buffalo in the American West and the efforts to reintroduce them into the landscape. The frontier village at the museum includes a collection of old pioneer buildings with a barber shop, church, drugstore, jailhouse, schoolhouse, post office and many more. Visitors to Frontier Village tour the historic sites, enjoy stagecoach and pony rides and partake at the on-site old-fashioned soda fountain. And finally, at number one, Theodore Roosevelt National Park. Theodore Roosevelt National Park is one of the top outdoor destinations in North Dakota. 
named after the naturalist, rancher and 26th President of the United States, the national park still encompasses the same landscapes that once enamored Roosevelt himself. The little Missouri River winds its way through the rolling hills and badlands of the park. Visitors are encouraged to hike or simply drive through the park to appreciate the natural beauty alongside free-roaming bison. The park is geographically separated into a north and south unit as well as the additional Elkhorn Ranch unit where Roosevelt himself spent much time among the Badlands. Plenty of hiking trails and designated scenic drives are a big draw to the north and south units as well as visitor resources. The Painted Canyon Visitor Center provides engaging information and one of the best viewpoints in the park in the south unit. The Maltese Cross Cabin is also in the South Unit, restored to the era in which President Theodore Roosevelt called it his temporary home. Camping is one of the popular things to do in the park. RV and tent camping is abundant here in two different campgrounds. All camping is considered primitive with no hookups or shower facilities. Campgrounds do have drinking water and flush toilets. Campsite reservations are available six months in advance. And there you have the top 10 rated tourist attractions in North Dakota. Did you like what you saw? Let us know in the comments down below. Share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more fantastic travel guides. See you next time.